Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you a really useful app that comes pre-installed on all Samsung Galaxy phones and tablets. It's called Samsung Kids. And if you have kids or younger family members around, you need to know about this app. Samsung Kids is a great app that creates a safe and fun environment for kids to be able to explore apps and content on your device. It's perfect for keeping kids away from any apps they shouldn't be using and preventing them from deleting any photos or important files from your device. Let's jump right in and take a look at how we can get Samsung Kids set up. Okay, so to access Samsung Kids mode, you need to swipe down from the top of your screen, and swipe down a little bit more, and it will be located in this menu here. So if you swipe across and you don't see it over here, just click this little plus sign, and it will be up here, and you'll just click and drag it down to here and hit done, and it will add it to this menu right here. Or if it isn't showing in this menu here either, you'll just need to go across to the Galaxy Store and then come to the search and you can write Samsung Kids and you can install it using the Samsung Kids installer. Okay, so because we have it, we'll click over here and this will launch Samsung Kids. This is what it looks like when you first install it. So we still need to download some apps and add a few of our own apps. So up here, we've got a few games that you can install for kids. Um, so if you just click on them, you can hit install. And then this is Lisa's music band, so they get like musical instruments they can play. This one's Croc Adventure. And then down here we have the camera. So if you want to give your kids access to play around with the camera on the tablet, you can install this one. And then if you use the camera app, you're going to want the gallery app because this is where all the photos will be stored. So this gallery will be separate to your gallery on your phone. This is just where all the photos that the kids take using their camera will be stored on here. The next one is my browser. So this is an internet browser where you can add what websites they're allowed to visit on. If you don't want them to be able to browse the internet at all, you can remove this. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Bobby's Campus, that's a good one, a good game. They can just do drawing and coloring in on that one. And then My Magic Voice is just like a voice recording game thing they can play. We'll install all of the apps that come with it. You scroll back this way. This is where you'll be able to see how long they've spent on their tablet. So if you click on this, it'll show you how long that they've um, been on each app for and Samsung Kids mode all together. Um, and we can also go in and set time limits. Um, at the moment, you can see here it says no limit. I'll show you how to do that in the parental controls. You can see all the apps that they've played down here. If we click on all my picks, these are a bunch of other Samsung apps that you can install on here for them. It's things like Lego, train game, car game, a whole bunch of different things. And these apps are really good because they don't have ads. If we go back to this screen and next we'll click up on these little dots up here. And in here, you can change the wallpaper. So the kids can come in and change their own wallpaper. They can use a photo from their gallery or they can change it to a just a standard color. Um, so under parental controls you will need a pin to access the parental controls. In here is where you will set their profile up so you can pick a little avatar um, as their profile picture and then you can put your child's name in here and their birthday. Go save. So for screen time, you will click here. And if you want to have a set amount of screen time for each day, you can set it in here. So if you just want them to have 15 minutes, you would select that or they can have an hour or you can come in here and choose a custom time. And if you only want them to have access to kids mode on certain days of the week, you could select this one and pick what day of the week and how long they get for each day. So you can set a bedtime. So in here you could set it to like 8 p.m. They won't have access to use their tablet after 8 p.m. Um, so here we have apps. And if we click this plus sign up the top, we can come in and add any apps that we have installed to the phone or the tablet. So you have things like YouTube or Netflix and Disney and any other games that you want. It'll appear in here. And then you can just click on it and then go add and it will appear up here. You can click and hold to move things around. Um, or you can click and hold and delete. So say if you didn't want this My Browser, you can click and hold on it and delete. Um, and then we can go save. And then in here, it's just where all their photos and videos and music will be stored. So if we just go 
back and come back up here again. And so the edit home screen button is the same. It takes you back into this where you can move the apps around or delete any apps or add any apps. So you can see the my browser that I just deleted is back in here. If you wanted to give it back to them, you would click here and just go add. Then we also have settings. So you can choose a lock type for the parents, whether it's a tablet screen lock or you have a separate pin for Samsung kids. And if you want to add the Samsung kids app to your home screen, you would turn this on. So if we want to get out of Samsung Kids, we just click up here and go close Samsung Kids. Then you need a pin to get out of that and then it will bring us back to the main tablet. You need to install whatever apps you want through the Google Play Store before you can add it to the kids profile. I've got a few apps installing now onto my tablet. Once they're all finished installing, I can add them to the Samsung Kids section. Okay, and you can see because we selected in Samsung Kids in the settings, to add it to the home screen, it's here now. So I'm just gonna click on this, say add to home screen. We can put it up here just so we don't have to always swipe down and go across to it here. So now we can go back into Samsung Kids and we will add the apps that we just installed. So we go edit home screen and then we'll hit the plus button at the top. And now I want to give them access to Angry Birds and Disney and Netflix. And we'll go add and then we'll go save. Once you've added an app, they'll get a little present that they can click on and open. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, you should check out this one next. Thanks for watching.